The replacement of the iJet Color 1175P head is a two-person lift. Have two people lift the print head over to the machine. Ensure that the print head is lifted up on the left side and reinsert the print head between the bars. Drop the print head down so that it is nice and centered on the four aluminum brackets. Then reinsert the shoulder bolts at the four edges. And there we go. From here, what we will do is remove the service station shipping braces. Begin by loosening the service station channel door bolt. Once the bolt is loosened, open the door all the way, such that it touches the non-operator side post. Once it is open, look inside and you will see two orange braces. The brace on the left can be pulled straight out. The brace on the right, as you can see from the arrow indicator, needs to be pulled towards the left and then straight out. Once the two braces are removed, we may put the door back on. Now that the braces are removed and the head is affixed to the table, we will reattach the cabling. To plug in the iJet Color 1175P print head, begin by inserting the encoder cable. This will insert into the slot shown on screen and will twist into place clockwise. After that, insert the auto feed cable, which will plug in above the encoder and again rotate into place clockwise. From there, Ensure that the power switch to the head is turned off, and then insert the power cable. After those three are plugged in, we will turn our attention to the cluster of cables on the right side. Begin by locating an Ethernet cable and plugging it into a network drop. Then, plug that cable into the LAN socket on the back of the printhead, such that it is now connected to your network. From there, locate the USB cable which leads into the belly of the machine and plug it into the socket labeled USB printer. After that, turn your attention to the USB socket and locate the appropriately shaped cable. Now insert the HDMI cable into the socket labeled display. Note that on the end of the display cable, there should be a small USB rider. Connect this rider to the USB port located just underneath the display input. Finally, locate the Ethernet cable which leads down into the machine and plug it into the RIP input of the printhead. Now the printhead is ready to be turned on. Once all cables are reinserted, turn the power switch on. It will take approximately 90 seconds for the printhead to boot back up. Come around the other side. The printhead may raise and lower the actual head portion all the way down and all the way back up as a calibration measure. Go to your RIP computer, open the Navigator server program, and then open the DFE. We will now wait for the printhead to say online, error, and all the inks will be empty. This is because we haven't put in the inks. Insert the inks by going to the gear menu and hitting min lift. Hit proceed and the printhead will move down. Once the printhead is all the way down, open the ink door and insert your inks. Close the ink door and verify that the status corner in the DFE no longer says pen change after a short amount of time. As we can see, it is still saying pen change, meaning we did not quite trip the door sensor. If this error happens to you, what you can do is simply move the ink door a little bit. 
As you can see, by having moved the ink door, we've tripped the sensor, and now the machine is online, idle, and ready.